Here's a case study on a back attack sequence. So we're established in position, my left arm being my choking arm, my right arm currently controlling his primary defensive hand. What I need to do here is to transition my right arm to control his left arm. I need to trap his left arm using my legs. So in a minute I'm going to make a trade off. He frees his arm, I transition my right arm to the inside of his arm here. Once I peel this, the aim is to take his arm down to his belly button. He's thinking about the choke, but I'm getting his hand in range of my leg, here. Now I aim to pull his arm behind his back, rendering it useless, but Liam actually manages to slip his arm and free it and begin to defend again. So now I need to adapt my technique. I'm going to apply the same straight jacket system, where my right arm is looking to control his left arm, bring it down in line with his belly button so I can trap it with my leg, same as before. So at the moment I've got that grip, my leg comes over, and I've trapped his arm. But rather than peeling it behind his body again where he can slip his arm out, I lock a body triangle, pinning it to his body. Now, this is a very tight grip. He's unable to slip his arm out and it's rendered useless. So now I have two arms to threaten the choke and he only has one arm and his chin to defend. I trap his arm using my right arm. My left arm starts to fight for the choke. All he has now to defend is his chin. And as you can see, it's not enough to stop the choke. 